we lead with states and localities because we think that that's where the best decisions are made. But there certainly are steps that the White House can take in terms of reducing regulations, uh, making sure that businesses aren't running into red tape and other uh, restrictions as they try to get restarted. And there are steps that Congress can take as it looks uh, at next phases of what it plans to do. So definitely a focus at the federal level. Uh, that's an area that I think will help us get back on our feet faster and uh, hopefully uh, lead more Americans back to the uh, back to their jobs jobs and not filing for unemployment. I think there are three rules that we have to follow. Rule number one is job one is to get this economy up and running. So you cannot do something in China that's going to hurt or or slow the, the recovery of the American economy, because that's the most important thing. The second thing is if you're going to do stuff to China, do stuff that will get their attention. A lot of things I'm hearing about might make people feel really good, you know, like, you know, toilet papering their, their ex-wife's car or something. But you got to do things that get China's attention. And the third thing is, I, I think we got to think long term here. It's a long term competition. So if we're going to do stuff with China, let's do stuff that, that's going to have a long term impact and affect their decision making. And quite honestly, a lot of what I hear now is just a lot of people wanting to do something. And I think we got to be smarter than that. I think the Chinese are in a bit of a panic mode here. They, they, they've never had pushback uh, and bad press like they have now. And so literally, they're just throwing everything they possibly can at these problems to try to figure out a way to get on top of this. Well, I think we've already seen the Chinese ramp up their pressure in Southeast Asia. Uh, beginning last year, Apple was already moving AirPod uh, production to Vietnam. I think uh, recently there's been some um, fist bites, literally, along the Sino-Indian border between border guards. Um, I think these are all aspects of China trying to turn up the pressure on India to sort of say, hey, understand, we're still bigger than you, we're more powerful right. than you, don't, don't tick us off. Yes, we need absentee ballots for people who are physically disabled or sick, can't make it to the polls, but all mail elections are not a good idea. And there's no reason at this point to switch to having an all mail election in November, given that we don't really know what the health conditions will be like at that time. And frankly, like a lot of people, I doubt we're all still gonna be at home, uh, still not back in school in November. The FBI had no legitimate basis of any kind to even be investigating Michael Flynn over the perfectly legal phone call he had with the Russian ambassador. In fact, that phone call was part of his duties, the incoming uh, uh, national security advisor. But, but second, it's also very clear that there was prosecutorial misconduct. The actual unemployment numbers based on weekly reports, which just came in yesterday as well, show that we actually already have over 20 percent unemployment with more than 30 uh, million Americans out of work. It really shows the depth of uh, this crisis and how um, it's not unprecedented if you look back to the Great Depression, but you really have to go back far in history. And the real question for lawmakers now, how do we get out of this and how do we uh, enable Americans to go back to work safely?